Hi there. It's no secret that commission rates have declined, and it's also no secret that that rate continues to decline. According to Real Trends, the average commission rate is under 5%. Yet when you ask a lot of agents or consumers, they'll tell you that commissions are 6%. It is that false narrative that's leading to an overabundance of real estate agents in the US. In fact, there are about 5.6 million existing home sales per year and an estimated 2 million real estate agents. That's one agent for every 2.6 houses that sell. This perception that the job is easy and that you get 3% is a driving force that brings so many people into the industry. But the reality of a lower commission and incredibly hard work is what causes 80% of new agents to quit within two years. Even though so few agents actually survive this business, it is still pushing commissions down partially because of a last desperate measure many agents will offer significant discounts or some agents try to build their entire business on this practice. While it works in the short term, it rarely works long term, but there is a constant flow of agents and brokerages who try that model. What's really going to drive commission pressure is the increasing consumer awareness of the commission process and demand for transparency. As an industry, we've done a poor job educating the consumer on what we really do. The consumer thinks that as a listing agent, all we do is put the house on the internet. And as a buyer's agent, most of the time we don't even find the properties anymore since they're online. So we just open doors and tell buyers about crown molding like they do on TV. We haven't educated the consumer on the 150 things an agent must do in order to make the transaction work and achieve the best results for the client. As for most agents, they don't provide all these services so they really aren't bringing the best value for the consumer in the real estate transaction. And as a result, everyone who can write software or who didn't like their real estate experience thinks they can create a new company and disrupt the industry. They generally see the price as an issue because most consumers don't understand what a good agent really brings to the table. If you don't know what someone does, then you're definitely going to think they're paid too much for it. And to be fair, there have been some significant technological advancements that have streamlined the real estate process and made the job of an agent much easier. Just a few innovations like online listings, smartphones, digital signatures have significantly streamlined our process. Every industry, as technology improves the experience and the process, the transactional costs decrease. Innovation generally leads to an enhanced experience and a decrease in cost. This is exactly what is happening in real estate. Competition in the market and technological innovation are reducing commissions. With the increased discussion around commissions by the consumer, the disruptors push in the story that transactional costs are too high and in the streamlining aspects of the job, commissions will continue to decline. Because of this, I believe that we need to be prepared to do 25 to 35% more business in the next five to seven years from now to make the same amount of money. Now, I don't want you to be fearful, but I do want you to be prepared. Everything I'm gonna be talking about in these videos and everything we're doing as a company is designed to help agents do more business in less time with a higher level of client satisfaction. So 2% doesn't have to be scary, but you need to have a plan. So really the question is, is can your business thrive at 2% commission? If not, then now is the time to make a plan so that it can. Thank you so much for listening and happy selling.